Hey guys, good morning. I should have checked my battery strength on my GoPro before I went live and I didn't. Oopsie, I got 45%, we'll see if we can make it. All right, hey, hey, it's Monday. I am gonna make a smoothie bowl. And the only reason I know ahead of time what I was gonna make, is some of you were thinking, what? She posted what she's making for breakfast. How is that possible? She never knows what she's making for breakfast ever, ever, ever. How does she know? Well, that is because I had to freeze some of the ingredients last night. That's the only reason. <laughs> That's the only reason I know ahead of time. Oh my gosh. Good morning, Christy. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Angela. All right, so here's what I did, you guys. I took a dragon fruit, which, by the way, I learned how to peel, and it's ridiculous easy. You cut the ends of each end of your dragon fruit, slice it down the side, and then the whole fruit just pops up, pops out. I made it much more difficult than I needed to the other day. Um, anywho, I gotta cover up the girls. Um, morning, Bonnie. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Donna. All right, so here's what I did. A few chunks of pineapple. I threw all this in a bag last night and threw it in the freezer. A few chunks of pineapple. One on the floor for the dog. A dragon fruit. I used a whole dragon fruit. It, they're not very big. It tastes... It tastes a little bit, Christy, like Lord of the Rings. I'm just kidding. It doesn't taste anything like that. It tastes like... I... Somewhere between strawberry and watermelon and banana and pineapple. <laughs> it's very mild sweet. It's very good. It's just very mild. Um, all right. So I cut up a dragon fruit, half of a small banana and a few chunks of pineapple. Now, if this were a red dragon fruit, it would be gorgeous because when I was looking for smoothie bowl recipes, well, when I was looking for dragon fruit recipes, cause I had dragon fruit and I have to eat it. I gotta, I, I don't want to waste it. I wanted to use it up. So I was looking for recipes that had dragon fruit. And I kept seeing smoothie bowls, but none of them were on plan. So I said, oh, well, I'll, I'll wing it. But the smoothie bowls were gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, because they used red dragon fruit. Well, mine's white and boring. It's yellow dragon fruit on the outside. And inside, it's just white. So I'm going to put some beet powder in there to make it pretty pink. So it'll be pretty, because I know Bonnie likes her food pretty. So, all right. And then I'm gonna put some yogurt. <laughs> you don't wanna have dragons? They're totally on plan, Kathy. Um, if you guys were trying to post this morning in my unofficial coaching group, the the free coaching group page coaching community and you couldn't it's because your coach is a moron and shut off the commenting commenting in the wrong group <laughs> so if you wanted to post something you can go back and try it again <laughs> all right i'm gonna put like i want like three quarters cup of yogurt because that's my protein and that's all i'm gonna put in there yogurt and fruit and I'm hoping, I'm hoping it works. It doesn't turn into pure liquid. Let's see. I'm gonna put it on super low. Come on, Brenda, don't fail me. Do your job. Yeah, see, that's not what happens when you watch videos on smoothie bowls. There's don't freeze up like that. And I don't know why mine does, because I'm not good at it, I guess. Come on, Brenda. Do your thing. It needs some liquid. That's all there is to it. How about a little lemon juice? 
Yum. Ooh, I don't want to use that lemon juice. That's for my lemonade, and I don't have much left. Oh, it's doing its thing now. I was, wasn't patient enough. Get a bowl. It's doing it now. Sorry, Brenda. I doubted you. I should. I should never doubt Brenda. She knows what she's doing. Oh, it's all done. Wow. That was fast, except for that beet powder that's on the bottom. I gotta mix that in because I don't want to taste no beets. Wow, that's pretty. All right. What keeps happening? I saw somebody said, I've been checking my notif oh, notifications. I don't, I don't understand. Facebook notifications are just the worst. All right, that worked much better than, you know, I gave her credit, I didn't give her enough credit. It almost looks like ice cream. It's gonna be cold too. I mean, we call it a smoothie bowl, but ultimately it's just froyo. That's all it is. It's frozen yogurt. <laughs> and it's a crap ton of it. Holy Hannah, that's a bowl. I should have made my drink first. Look at that. Look at the beautiful color from the beets or red dragon fruit. I could freeze it for a dessert. It would be delicious that way. All right, I'm gonna top it with what? I don't wanna put more fruit because there's a ton of fruit in it already. I didn't sweeten it because it's got dragon fruit, banana, and pineapple, so I didn't need it. I'm gonna put, this is gonna be my added fat. Some chia. Ch -ch -ch chia. This whole thing. This whole container, which was really full when I bought it, has 13 grams, so a little sprinkle ain't gonna hurt nothing. That's right, and beets. But I don't need sweetener to cover beets. Trust me, it's gonna be good. Trust me, Bonnie, trust. Some coconut, just to make it pretty. There! Looks pretty. Look, that's beautiful. Doesn't get much quicker than that. Give her a little tasty taste. Mmm. Look, oh, good. Oh, it's cold on the teeth. Mmm. That's yummy, you guys. That is yum. All right, I just poured that all over the cover to my Instant Pot. I fixed my Instant Pot. You guys, I fixed it. Oh, I figured it out. I Googled the heck out of it. And come to find out, I was missing a gasket. I dropped a gasket somewhere. That's all it was. I had a blown gasket. Um, I will, I will carry. So, frozen fruit. It was a small, it was a dragon fruit, it wasn't a huge one. A whole dragon fruit chopped up into pieces. A few small chunks of pineapple, maybe a quarter cup of pineapple. Um, a half of a small banana. I put it in a freezer bag, threw it in the freezer last night. And this morning, I just threw it in my blender on real low with the frozen fruit, a about three quarters of a cup of Greek, unsweetened Greek yogurt, and about a teaspoon of beetroot powder because I wanted it to be pink. But if you had red, beet red dragon fruit, you wouldn't need to do that, but mine was yellow. And then I topped it with a few chia seeds and a tiny bit of uh, coconut. It was delicious. It's cold. I don't do well with cold stuff. It's cold. I got a lot warm up and then I'll drink it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's good. Can't even taste the beets. If you could, it would taste like dirt and I wouldn't like it. But I wouldn't put a lot of beet powder in there unless you like dirt. All right, I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of super sweet. 
And this is for my pineapple brown sugar lemonade. Okay, a drizzle of blackstrap molasses. Make myself some brown sugar. I mean, could I just put it in the blender and do the same thing? Yeah, but then I wouldn't feel like I'm eating brown sugar. Okay, Kathy. Okay. Sure they are. If you like to eat the front yard. Oh. They literally taste like the driveway. If I was to go out there and take a spoonful of the yard. Yeah. $8.99 here for one dragon fruit faith? Was that for one? This I got this was $5.99 for three. I didn't think that was terrible. Alright. Yeah, nope, not trying to pickled Kathy. Yeah, Bonnie. Lemonade is just lemons. That's why I'm not making just lemonade. And I'm making it drive through Sueway with lemon juice because I still forgot to buy lemons, even though they're on my list. Cindy Wetzel, if you're watching, I feel the need to apologize for not buying lemons yet. They've been on my list for two weeks. And she sent me a reminder email to make sure they were on my list. And I still haven't bought them. But I am going to try to go to Sam's Club this morning. Because I got to go do some errands. I have a doctor's appointment later today to have my varicose veins evaluated for removal because I am seriously sick of my veins itching. I can't take it anymore. I can't take the itching another minute. I'm going to lose my mind if I don't stop scratching my legs. I'm, I'm seriously, sincerely going crazy with digging my veins. So I'm gonna go talk to the doctor today to get a referral to get those babies out. Has anybody had that done? Does it hurt? I'm scared. All right, small bit of pineapple. Ashley, they say if they itch, if you have varicose veins that itch, you are much more susceptible to a blood clot and you should get them taken care of. That's why I'm doing it because the itch and because I say you can get a blood clot if if you have them removed if you don't have them removed yeah not all of them itch I have eczema that forms only on my vein area and it's brutal is it bad Shirley what's it like Please tell me it's not bad. I have a really big one on my upper leg. And I know if I do this, I have to stop sitting on my legs, which is a big challenge for me. I sit on my legs all the time with my legs up underneath me. And I know that's what's caused them. All right, probably quarter cup of lemon juice, whatever you have left for pineapple. It's just a little bit. There's probably less than a quarter cup. And then I'm gonna put my brown sugar in there. And then I'm gonna put a bunch of water. Good, good Shirley, thank you. Good to know. Some cold water here. Oh, my baby pillar was born overnight. My last egg hatched. Yay. I have like 25 caterpillars right now, you guys. There's so much caterpillar poop in this house, it's unbelievable. I have 25 of them right now. All right, bunch of cold lemonade, cold water, I mean. Ah, uh, yes, it's, I looked up the carbs and I've got probably around 45 carbs of worth of fruit. So, because the um, dragon fruit is only like 19, 18 carbs. And that's not even the net carbs. So, yes, you just want to make sure you anchor it in protein. Anchor it in protein.
delicious. All right, let me get some ice. Gotta have ice for lemonade, right, Bastie? Right, Beastie? how much there is here but there's a chance I'm not gonna drink the whole lemonade because um, I'll probably I will probably um, I'm having lentils again for lunch today so I'll have another glass with my lunch I got a lot of froth here go away Go away, that'll settle down. I don't want all froth. I want some of that lemonade from the bottom. I'll give it a minute to settle. I'm not having coffee this morning, Kim. I ain't feeling like it. Feeling like a smoothie bowl and, pot and lemonade. I'll have, got it cold. I'll have coffee this afternoon for my little afternoon snacky snack. I wish I had like a, how could I get to the juice on the bottom? How do you do that? I wish this had like a little pourer thing on it. it would hold back the froth. Let's see if I can make a royal mess. I want the juice underneath, not all the froth. There we go. Here comes the juice. See, there's a ton left in there. I'll throw that whole thing right in the fridge. Have the rest of it later today. Right. That would have worked, a gravy separator. Oh my gosh. That's good. Kathy. Somebody else will have to answer that. I'm not sure. I always ask Siri. Can my dog eat this? Can my dog eat that? I started that when I fed the dog grapes. A whole bunch of grapes not knowing they were poisonous to dogs. Oopsie. All right, there we go. Brown sugar, pineapple lemonade, lemonade juice all over the counter, and a delicious smoothie bowl. I literally, what on earth, KJ? Could you be more of a hot mess? Oi, all right guys. Oh my word. Faith over here talking about carrying dog poop. I cannot handle that. This I can't walk my dog anywhere but local. So, and I just can't, like, I cannot clean up. I can't do that. I can't do it. I, I feel admiration for those of you that can walk your dog and clean up after them. I cannot do that. I went out to eat Chinese food years ago with my neighbor and she brought her dog and the dog made a mess and she had to clean it up with the Walmart bag. And let me just tell you, I lost my Chinese food right on the front yard of the Chinese place. I can't do it. I can't do it. So good on you. Whoa. Oh. I can't touch hot dog mess. That's good breakfast conversation. Oh, nope. All right, guys, that's it. Um, I will write up the recipe for both and put them on my website since, you know, since I made them both. All right, you guys, I love you all. I hope you have a beautiful Monday. Stay on plan today, it's Monday. Why would you go off plan on a Monday? Monday is like the fresh start of a new week. Stay, oh, and <laughs> I'm gonna start gagging. Gross, all right. Go check out my Instagram, my YouTube, all that jazz. Um, if you haven't seen, I released my new coaching setup. 
<laughs> this conversation went nowhere fast. Um, <laughs> I, I released the new coaching plan. I just drooled all over myself yesterday. Anyway, go check it out. Um, monthly subscription price for ongoing coaching that you can sign up anytime you need it. Cancel anytime you're ready to stop rejoin and all the information from the past will be there. So, um, all right, check it out. I love you all. I hope you have a blessed day. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit like and subscribe, share with your friends. I appreciate it. And that's it. Have a wonderful day, you guys. I love you all.